any for your thoughts. Nothing, mister. An archaeological problem. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with uh, Robert's visit? I could hear you guys arguing from way upstairs. Why don't we talk about it later, Mary? Huh? No, I, I've got her involved in a project in the kitchen. We've got plenty of privacy right now. Okay. I think your old buddy Scorpio is letting his personal feelings interfere with his professional conduct. Hmm, well, I, I heard him mention Althea's name. Hmm, several times. I think the old boy is jealous of the fact that I was the one who saved your life. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Robert. Catherine, you are a very beautiful and talented woman. <laughs> and any man would consider himself lucky to have you. Robert Scorpio is no exception. Well, thank you very much. It's very flattering. But I, I think Robert knows that you and I are engaged. <laughs> Sweetheart, that wouldn't stop me if the situation was reversed. Y yes, but how does this involve Althea? Sweetheart, you and I both know that any threat to your life was ended with Althea's death. Now, Scorpio knows that too, but he just doesn't want to close the case because he wants to stay involved in your life. Well, well, I think that if Scorpio feels that he needs to investigate more, we should at least cooperate with him. After all, he was right about Althea. Oh, we'll cooperate. We don't have much choice. The commissioner is a very persevering fellow, I'll give him that. But, um, I think you better start relying on me for protection. But Robert is the policeman here. Oh, sure, he's the policeman. But did you see how fast he ran out of here when Anna needed him? No, Catherine. I think with Duke gone, Scorpio's primary loyalty is going to be reserved for his daughter and his ex-wife. She was there. And the experts think that it was highly unlikely. No, I'm not saying she isn't mentally ill, because she is. But she's a pathological liar. You've already, she's not an amnesia. You've already admitted that you thought that Hillary was Olivia. Huh? That was a mistake. They were dressed the same, more or less. And the, Robert, she was there, I saw. There's not a doubt in my mind. I have very good instincts. I thought you'd believe me. She was there. <clears throat> Hi. 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 I'm sorry I had to leave you on your own, you all right? I'm fine. Owen was playing checkers with me in the kitchen. Oh, yeah? Boy, she doesn't give a kid a break. I know, she never lets you Well, go. I used to be a bit of a shark at that game. Maybe I can uh, give you a few pointers. First, I want to know how your talk with Catherine went. Yeah. He was going to ask Catherine about why she's going to Catherine. What, 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 what? I, I, I wasn't going to put it quite like that. Well, is she going to stay or not? Well, I couldn't stick around. Now, the matter came up. Oh. Uh, you, you, maybe you should change out of these things now so they don't get creased, okay? I'll see if Daddy can stay for a while. Okay. Okay. See you in a minute. Mm-hmm. Sorry if I took you away from the talk with Catherine, then. No loss. Besides, the ball was there. I couldn't say anything. Oh, I'm sorry. God bothers me. There's something about him that just isn't quite kosher. I don't like the way he hangs around her all the time. Is there something you can do? Not unless I can find some evidence. Well, I'm sure you will. You always do. Probably. But will I do it in time? Uh, mm. Yeah, that sounds good. That's flight 654. All right, I'll worry about the return. All right, out with it. I know you had me busy in the kitchen so that you could be alone and talk with Paul. What's going on around here? And why was Robert so upset? I don't know. I wasn't in here. I, I didn't hear any more of their conversation than you did. Well, maybe not, but I'm sure himself over there gave you an earful of his version. Well, he said that Robert was being Robert, right. so obstinate as usual. In a pig's ear. Why would he do that? Well, Paul, well, Paul thinks that Robert is just... Trying to find some excuse to stay in contact with me. Oh, well, the girl could do a lot worse. <laughs> a lot worse. Mary, you've got to stop being hostile about Paul. And you've got to stop listening to him. Don't you see? Uh, listen, did he come up with any of the excuses Robert's supposed to have talked about? Well, as a matter of fact, he did. Apparently, uh, Robert thinks there's some unanswered questions about Althea. Those aren't excuses, those are reasons. There's no difference. 
Oh, Catherine, I wish you'd let Robert be the judge of that. After all, he's not the sort of person that would lead you astray. Just listen to him. Have some good sense about you. Good news. The Alliance has confirmed the reservations. Excuse me, I've work to do. We have two seats in first class. Thank you very much for our flight to Los Angeles, the end of the week. <laughs> mm. Pop. Pop? What kind of talk's that, huh? It's a poem I made up. See? Uh -huh. Pops are tops among cops. Oh. Well, yeah. all right. Okay. Cop this one. <laughs> Your dad is glad when his tad goes to bed. Oh. Mm. Yeah. As a poet, you're a great cop. Kind of would. <laughs> Past your bedtime, out of here. Go on. Night, okay. no, no, I've been in a minute. So, you're going to work on this connection between Althea and Paul, are you? Yeah, but not first thing. It's not priority at the moment. I want to talk to Tom first, see if he gleans something from Olivia. I've got a lead that I want to follow up between Victor and the murder. Is this a new lead? Flimsy one. Oh. One you will stay out of. I think I should know. Oh, well, I'm sure you'd love to. But I want you to do me a favour, and that is to get your life and our daughter's back to normal as soon as possible. Leave the cop shop stuff to me. I know what I'm doing. I'm sure you could use a little help. If I need it, I'll go to the taxpayers. Besides, I've got Sean running around out there chasing the alpha. I'm sure that'll pan out. Well, if Sean can help... Look, you're only human. Dealing with grief is a full-time job for anybody. Yeah, but can you handle it all? Make the time. You're worth it. <laughs>